It's time for Tuesday Terror, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated R and is recommended restricted for anyone under the age of 17. Adyen, the payments platform made for today, tomorrow, and whatever comes next. With Adyen's single solution, it's simple to accept all kinds of payments, in-app, online, in-store, touch-free, and beyond. And it seamlessly adapts with your business. So keep your customers happy and your business growing with Adyen. Visit Adyen, A-D-Y-E-N dot com to learn more. Rusty Quill presents. We're Alive, a story of survival. Chapter 12 The War Part 2 of 4 Written by Casey Whelan Bert, what's going on down there? They're switching sides. They're coming from the east. What's on that side? The parking garage. Bert, can they get through? It's sealed off pretty good. That gate's pretty strong. But you never know with this group. What are we gonna do? I'll go check. All right, Bert, ammo check. What do we have exactly? All I can use is pistol rounds. This is my whole box here. It's about 15 rounds of M16. I got a clip full of Shirley's rounds, but I'm gonna save those. And those are worthless. We don't have anything to fit those. Uh, This is everything. Man, I wish we didn't have a party tonight so I could get some more. What else do we have besides bullets? What can we use? Well, we got gravity. I say we keep hitting him with what we got upstairs. That's a lot of balconies to watch. As long as they're sporadic, they won't be able to target them. Just drop something and go. I'll go tell him. Where's Tommy? Oh, he went to fix the cameras or put up a few new ones. Wait a couple of spares. Well, at least we'll be able to see what's going on out there. Ah, they're ramming the parking gate. Come on! Wait for me! The rim and the... Yeah, we know. Oh, hell. That thing won't take much more either. Bert, Angel, ideas. Quickly, please. Shoot the driver. They'll just try it again. If that thing breaks... There's no time. The Hummer. Move! Help! He needs cover fire. So I can shoot now? All right. He made it. Go, Angel, go. They're coming. Hell of this. Ha, told you shooting the driver was the best idea. Three I told you so's in one day. Gotta be a record. Shut up. We don't have all day, Junior! Put the Hummer right up against the gate. Now that it's got something behind it, I think we're good. Another car's coming! Hold you! Can't get a clear shot! Damn it! Well, what are we gonna do now? Come on. Show me that pretty smile. I can't stop him! Ha <laughs> ha! Burn you little Shit. What was that? Where did that come from? <laughs> Molotov from upstairs. Come on. Uh, 
One burning car and one Hummer next to the gate. Don't think they'll be getting in there. They'll just try and get it another way. A little victory. <laughs> Michael, there you are. I got two cameras plugged back in. Do they see you do it? No, I don't think so. Awesome. So they'll think they're still broken. Nice work. Watch the monitors. If they try something new, tell me. So far, they just keep trying to find a way to climb up. Then fine. Tell me if that changes. Got it. Tommy, if something happens and they might be close, you get the hell out of there and up to us, all right? This floor will be the first they go for. Okay. Brave kid. No kidding. He's a trooper. If he didn't throw it, then who did? Third floor. Come on. Don't. Hey, it's about time you woke up. Okay, it like this? Yeah, now light it. Oh! Got two on my first try! Uh, well, that's great. Now get over here and make another. <laughs> it looks like they got everything under control here. Hey! You guys done watching? I don't know if you see what's going on, but we're kind of under attack. Well, it looks like we won't be drinking again for a while. <laughs> this must have been Shirley's little way of telling me I shouldn't have been participating tonight. Here, use these. They got a high proof. I won't touch another drop again, I swear, babe. Just let us get out of this. Why are you talking to your gun? Here, this one's ready. Chuck it. On it. Michael, we had to stop dropping furniture. Why's that? The piles are getting too high. They're starting to climb up on the mounds of chairs and sofas. Wonderful. Nice going. Hold on. Which side? There. Out that window. Why? <laughs> It might not be such a bad thing. <laughs> it worked! Third floor! Move back! Oh. Ah. On fire. Well, what are you, an idiot? Don't wait to throw it! They'll start shooting the minute they see the light! At least we have a nice wall of flames down there now. Wait, what? You started a fire? Well, won't that get us... No, wind's blowing the other way. We'll be all right. We just have to be careful of any fires on the other side of the building. One less front to watch. Nicely done. What are these things you're making? Can I help? Molotov cocktails, my dear. Stick some cloth in a bottle of whatever your poison. Let it soak up the rag. Light it. Chuck it. Boom. Some brands work better than others. Ow. I was just about to tell her that. Will this one work? All you pigs. Oh, God, it'd be so much easier to make these if the lights were on. Well, I do have my lighter. Whoa, what are you, nuts? Just a joke, jeez. That was a nice shot in the car in the garage, by the way. You like that? All me. Saved all your asses. Hey, try to focus. If you're done... Here, I'll take those. Hey, Saul, how do you feel? It really sucks. I felt great for a while there for the first time in a long time. Next thing I know it, she's dragging me up here and everything still has to stop spinning. Oh, damn it. Hey, 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 hey. Why don't you go lay down and drink water? Michael, I'm thinking Saul should just go upstairs. He's not really much of a use to us right now. He's right. Here, Pegs, this one's ready. You want to toss this one? Um... Ugh, fine, I'll do it. Check the east side. That one's due. What if there's no one there? We're keeping them at bay for now. All right. Come on, Saul, let's get oh, you. Oh, I'm not going anywhere. Just give me a gun. I can fight. Uh, you're a bad enough shot sober. Go with Lizzie. No, I'm fine. Leave me here. You're being stubborn. That's the last of the bottles. 
I think mine are ready. Here, you take one too. Let's go across the hall to the south side. Toshers out, out there to the right. Flush them out to the left and, and I'll nail them with mine. Ready? Do it. Look out! Head right! Head right! What more? <laughs> hey, hand me another. That's the last of them. Come on. Ha-ha! <laughs> Lizzie, I see you're two and I'll raise you four. Does everything have to be a competition with you? Jesus, they're people too. Hey, hey, if you're not up for this, you can go up with No! The... I'm part of this too. But we don't have to treat it like a game. Hey, I'm just having a little fun is all. Pegs, do you know what they would do to you or any one of us if they got their mitts on us? I know, Bert, I know. I'm dealing. But I'm helping. I can make a bottle, but I don't have to kill them, right? Huh. That looks like they're keeping pretty far back. Well, Michael, I know you were worried, but I'd say we're doing pretty well without even using more than a couple rounds. Ah, the glory of an elevated position. I bet those toasted assholes have given up. You think it's safe to turn the lights back on? I can barely see any of you. Hey, that reminds me. Lizzie, you were up there. Who the hell fired at them? They didn't shoot from in here. It came from another apartment. Someone must have left, but all the lights were off, so I don't know who was here and who wasn't. Wonderful. Tommy, how you doing down there? Good. Good to see you more of them. Well, if it's all the same, I'll just take a nap right here. Save me a couple flights of stairs. Yeah. Oh, crap. Datu, where- Kelly and I took him upstairs with the others. Riley's keeping an eye on him. Is he still out of it? He's recovering. Slowly. He talked a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. I don't understand. What the hell's going on with him? I mean, he's not hurt at all. Hey, you go through what he did and say that. Sometimes wounds aren't always visible. Yeah, you can't even begin to imagine. Where? I don't know. Tommy! Tommy, you all right? Yeah, I came from down the hall. I, I didn't see them, but I only got two cameras. Well, they must have seen you put them up. I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. You're doing good, kid. Now, just stay behind us. They made it up the backside. They're in one of those apartments at the end of the hall. It's so quiet. Maybe they just broke the window. I heard something more than that. They're trying to sneak in. Listen, go quietly. We'll ambush them once they try to get into the hallway. Tommy, stay here. Grab it. Help him up. I'll take point here. Angel, you. There. Get the one heading down the ladder. Got him. He's gone. Took the ladder with him. Get away from the windows. There's another group coming with the ladder. We'll deal with them in a sec. Grab these two's weapons. Sweet. This one had an extra clip. Michael, up here! They made it to the third floor. Come on. Tommy, come on. Stay with us. But the monitors... Don't matter anymore. Come on! Coming up the back side. Somewhere down in those apartments at the end. Okay. Um. 
Got him. He's down. Told you I could fight. Feeling better already? Why was it just one of them this time? They're sending scouting parties. The rest of them must still be outside. How y'all on ammo? Not too good. That was the last from my gun. Here, I took this off the Mauler downstairs. Lizzie, grab that one's gun. Can I have one? Uh, yeah, that's a good idea, kid. Hey, why not? They'll shoot at him just like they will at us. I've showed them how to use it. Look, we need all the help we can get. They're coming up the west side, right? I'll tell the others upstairs. Maybe they can knock off some of the ladders. Why don't more people come down and help? We don't have enough ammo or guns for more than us. It's better if they stayed out of the way up there. I doubt the Maulers have any ladders that could reach any higher than the second, third floor. Pegs, you might as well stay up there when you tell... Stairwell! Oh, hey, easy. Bill, you scared the crap out of me. Pegs. I'll go tell him. West side. Nice to see you join the after party. I thought we had all the guns and ammo accounted for. Where'd you get the shotgun? Well, Bert gave it back after he fixed it. Good thing, too. Considering you lost everything else. Uh, Boys. Bill, you, me, and Saul, we're gonna watch the second floor. Michael, have you got this one? Yeah, Liz Angel and I can handle it. I'll go back and watch the monitors. Okay. Well, wait, wait, I'm sticking by Lizzie. You just told me you could fight. You also know she's safer on the third floor. Yeah. Downstairs. Come on! Salt, go. I'm fine here. Don't you go nowhere. I hate having to split up like this. He'll be fine. Don't worry about him. They keep trying to get in here, but it's hard as hell to do that. It's kind of the reason we chose this place. And why they want it. You're not worried at all? It's a hell of a lot harder to take over a position than it is to defend it. And they're starting to figure that out. We're not as bad off as they thought. Wait, what about the lobby? Michael, we need to get someone hey, hey, down hey, there. Hey, 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 just sit, all right? The lobby's gonna be fine. They know it's gonna be the most built up place and the hardest to get into. They're gonna go for our soft spots, like up here. Besides, they want this place for their own, and, and, and that's meant to keep them out. If you think about it. Get up. See it. See? I guess you're right. Shit, get down! Join us again Monday for the next episode of We're Alive. And now, a word from our sponsors. Starring Jim Gleason, Shane Salk, Nate Gies, Elisa Elliott, Claire Doden, Jay Oligario, Blair Byhauer, Scott Marvin, Tammy Klein, Nico Marvin, Manly Woods, Michael Ray Clark, Jenna McCombie, Kevin Flood, and Bob Bergen as Skittles. Also featuring the voices of Ben Durand, I'm Michael Swan. Produced by Grayson Stone, Shane Sock, and K.C. Wayland. To find out more and for a full list of cast and crew, please visit our website at we'realive.com. Be sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook for all production-related updates and future projects. Thank you for listening to this Audio Theatre for the Mind by Wayland Productions. Hi, this is John Bell. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. In my podcast, Bells in the Battery... I usually surpass a thousand words. Why does he? But for every episode, there is also a picture. You mean that itty bitty picture that you see when you bring up the episode? Yes, that's called a thumbnail. They're drawn on thumbnails? <sighs> but now you can see all the thumbnail pictures in large format by going to the Bells in the Bat Free Gallery. Just go online to thebatfree.com. Vec! 
T-H-E-B-A-T-F-R-Y dot com. And click on gallery. That's G-A-L-L-E. I think they can figure that out. You'll see all the pictures for all the episodes that were created by Jeff Music, along with other guest artists like the Lavalier Brothers and famous animation director Dan Reba. Well, he knows one celebrity, and he really wants you to know about it. You'll also see lots of fan art over the years and a few surprises. So when you're in the mood for a picture instead of a thousand words, especially his his words, words, go to thebatfree.com and click on gallery. And be sure to clean your thumbnails before viewing. (laughs) 